What's going on, everybody? I'm PlayStation Pizza, also known as PSP, but you can call me Paul. That's the name given to me by my sweet mama. I'm stepping in to guest host this episode of PlayStation Megabits for the Mega Dads on account of Adam having suffered a scrotal injury while trying to use a slip and slide. He's upstairs right now with an ice pack on his pecker, hopped up on painkillers and watching reruns of Mad About You, starring Paul Reiser and Helen Hunt. Mm -mm -mm. That Helen Hunt sure is a spicy thing, ain't she? I'd like to dip her in garlic butter and just see how fast I can make her... Now you might be saying to yourself, now what has a talking slice of pizza got to say about the world of PlayStation? Well, first of all, take a look at me. I'm wearing a goddamn bow tie, so clearly I am an educated individual. Just because I have no extremities to speak of doesn't mean I can't enjoy myself some good old fashioned PlayStation video games. So let me tell you what's going on this month with PlayStation. I promise to make it good and snappy, just like a thin crust pizza. That thin crust pizza, you just put it in your mouth, you put it on your tongue and up against your teeth, and you just snap it. You just snap that thin crust pizza. It's just as delicious as it is snappy. Uh. Now, first of all, we've got brand new games coming out on the PlayStation Plus. And they're simply delicious. Tony Hawk Skater 1 Plus 2. Which I am no mathematician, but shouldn't that just be called Tony Hawk 3? Because 1 Plus 2 makes 3. I don't understand why they got to make things so difficult. That's just Activision for you with their usual shenanigans. Anyways, this game is all about skateboarding around and collecting letters in warehouses and listening to rock and roll music. I used to be quite the skateboarder when I was a teenager. That's right. I used to shred it just like fresh mozzarella on a personal pan pizza. Ultimately, I couldn't take my skateboarding career pro on account of my not having any legs which made standing on the skateboard surprisingly challenging. Next up is Yakuza Like a Dragon. Now this is a Sega RPG about the criminal underworld. And it looks very interesting and everything, but like uh, part of this game is about going around to different shops and restaurants and the like located in Japan. And there was a serious lack of pizzerias in Japan. So I'm not sure I can play this game on account of its overt racism towards people like me. But hey, if pizza racism doesn't bother you, then you can go right on ahead. And then you can go straight to hell. Finally, we have Little Nightmares. This game is about a little kid who's running around in a raincoat or something. I don't know, it looks stupid, so I don't want to talk about it. Next up in the news is, we gotta look at some of the new user interface features for the PSVR 2. PlayStation seems to be taking a few notes from the Quest because now, thanks to the external cameras on the headset, with a click of a button, you can see the outside world. Now, this is especially important when you need to grab yourself a delicious slice of pizza during a hot game of Beat Saber. I have to say that I am very impressed with Sony's commitment to ensuring that pizza consumption while in VR seems to be at the forefront of the design process. While PSVR 2 does not yet have a price point or a release date, some folks are thinking that perhaps the recent price hack of the Meta headsets may be an indication that the PSVR 2 may have a fairly hefty price tag, considering that the tech inside is of a comparable, if not superior, quality. PlayStation and the mobile controller company known as Backbone have joined forces for an official DualSense-inspired Backbone peripheral. The Backbone is a premium deck for your iPhone that allows players on the go to take advantage of PlayStation streaming tech to play their games on the go without having to fumble with touch controls on their iPhones. This piece of equipment is very impressive and it ensures that if you have greasy fingers from your three cheese deep dish dinner that you won't go smudging it up on your screen as you play. It's also handy if you're in a hot game of Gran Turismo and you gotta go drop a deuce on account of a stuffed crust tummy tremor. You two can play Bloodborne on the pooper with this all new PlayStation Edition Backbone controller. Jesus Christ, who writes this shit? That's offensive. Finally, before I get out of here, 
I want to impart on you a game that you should be looking out for during the month of August, and that is Roller Drome. This futuristic skate or die game has you roller skating through deathmatch arenas, dodging rockets, and dispatching bitches while you perform sick aerial moves and let the good times roll. This game looks pretty fly. I love that the hand drawn aesthetic harkens back to games like Jet Set Radio while also providing a grindhouse retro sci fi look that I do find so appealing. This game is as juicy as a Chicago style deep dish and will leave you twice as satisfied. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, that's gonna do it for me. I'm so glad that you decided to spend time with me today for PlayStation Megabits. Adam should be back next month as long as his scrotum heals up like it should. You all have yourself a wonderful August. Make sure that you subscribe to youtube.com slash megadads for more content. Maybe you'll see me again sometime if Adam hurts his scrotum again. Okay, you all have a great day now. I love you. Bye.